Hello everyone. My name is Rohit and today we'll talk about that how we can create the virtual machine in Microsoft Azure in free of cost. So Microsoft Azure providing a lot of free of services. One of the free of services is the virtual machine. You can use the virtual machine or you can create the virtual machine in Microsoft Azure on free of cost. For that, first of all, you need to register that in Microsoft Azure. And then once you register that Microsoft Azure, you have to have give your identification by your card number, like credit card number. If you think that you can bypass that credit card number by any other way, I don't think that is a possible way. So you have to have provide your credit card number during the Microsoft Azure um, registrations. Once you do that registration process, Microsoft won't you charge. That is just for the identification so that nobody can misuse that. So they won't charge until unless you upgraded your uh, Microsoft Azure um, uh, profile to that pay as you go services until unless it will go for a uh, one year free services. And then if you are um, upgrade, then only they will charge us. So now today we'll talk about that, how you can uh, use the virtual machine uh, using the Microsoft Azure in free of cost. So if you go log into the Microsoft services, you are uh, Microsoft Azure, you will be able to see this kind of UI. And under that, in the top, there will be search bar where you can search that couple of options. So one of the options called the free services, you can see I recently searches that the keyword called free and you can see this is the free services. Once you click the free services, these are the free services provided by Microsoft Azure. There are many free services, always free, for a couple of days it is free so it's already mentioned that so the services for 12 month free which is that uh, windows virtual machine so once you register yourself in the microsoft azure these are the services that will be provided free of cost for that 12 month and on the bottom these are the services will which will be always free now in our case let's say that i'm going to uh, create a virtual machine um you can see uh in windows or maybe we can create in the linux virtual machine so let's click that windows virtual machine once we click that and then uh, you have to click the create option so you can use 750 uh, hours virtual machine uh, in year uh, free of cost now here you need to select the subscription so i'm going to select the azure subscription at that moment once you do that uh, you can see the resource group and these are the resource group available at that moment. So you can simply click the new resource group call uh, VM2 something like that. So and simply click OK. Once you do that, you need to be uh, given that virtual machine name. So I'll do that VM2. You need to select the region on which region you want to use this um, because Microsoft Azure is a cloud based and you can select your VM in any of these regions. So let's say I'm selecting that uh, East US and here you need to select the operating system, which operating system you are going to be use that. So here in your case, you can see these are the operating system is available by default. So let's go for that uh, Windows Server 12. And then if you scroll down, you have a uh, size uh, so if you see here so this is nothing but the vm size so where it's saying that one vcpu one gb memory or something like that that is a free services no other services are providing by the free of cost now after that you need to provide that username password here as a login i mean when you try to log in in your system we need to put the username password so i'll put the username and password here so let's say I'll put username and then password in here. So I just put the password. Now you have a options called uh, port selection, public port available or the uh, select that uh, inbound uh, port option or not. So you can just select that option. So I'm not changing this option at that moment. Uh, you can see that uh, you can click the next button if you want to. So you can click the next and then you can create the tags uh, if you need it. So um, I'm not doing anything. And then it will go to the next page where it will uh, check the review processes. Okay. 
So once this validation pass, it means that this validation is passed and you can see it's have the basic descriptions like subscription, resource group name, virtual machine name, region, which image it is going to be built, the size, username, and uh, you know the ports, okay? Everything is done. You just need to be click the create and then it will be started creating the virtual machine for you. And you can see it started deploying the virtual machine in the right side it is showing. So this virtual machine is started uh, deploying. So now after that, you can see we um, move to this screen where it is showing that um, the VM details call date and then deployment in progress with overview. And it will take uh, some time. You can see that um, right now this is generating IP, VNet, and then it is generating the network. And then finally, it is, uh, it is creating the virtual machine. You can see. So this is the um uh, in progress state so now after that you can see that deployment is successful so it means that virtual machine deployment is completed now we can go back to our home screen and then we can go to the all resources and here you can see all the resources so far you have um utilizing now um if you go back again the home and then go to the virtual machines under this, you will see that all the virtual machines that are right now available at that moment. So previously, this virtual machine was created, and then this is the recent virtual machine I have created. And the status, you can see it is running. So it means that it is up and running right now, and we can connect that. So simply open this virtual machine from here. And then after that, uh, you can see, uh, I can just click here. So right now you can see under this, uh, here we have a pipe public IP address. So using this IP address, I'm going to connect this virtual machine. And then um, what we have to do, you have to think about that which operating system you are using. So if you are using that uh, Microsoft Windows, so then you don't need to do anything. Um, Microsoft Windows inbuilt have a remote um, desktop option. If you're using Mac, then um, definitely uh, you need to install this Microsoft remote desktop in from the Play Store. So you need to install that Microsoft Remote Desktop. And after that, uh, what you have to do, you have to go to the Connect option. Under this Connect option, you have a call RDP options. You go to the RDP options. And then after that, it will be check that networking status. So it will check the network status. In case any failure, this will give you that, this will guide you that where it, the error have. So after that, you can see it is saying the suggested method for connecting. It means there is no error at that moment. Now, next thing is that you need to just click the download RDP file. So once you click that, you can see there is a one down RDP file downloaded for me. Simply you have to click here and then it is start connecting to that services. You need to be provide your username and then password. So I'll put my username and password and click continue and click continue again. And now you can see it's setting up my uh, profile uh, in this server and the server will be on in a couple of minutes. So you can see this uh, Windows server started. And yeah, that's how you can set up your virtual machine. In case you need to be select any other images like Linux, you can definitely go for that. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.